All right, some of you guys have asked about how to get your dash lights to work, the part, reverse, the neutral drive, and so on and so forth. Um, this is what you're looking for. I'm still working on the harness that does uh, just the, the, 90, the original 97 harness. Here's the two connectors that go to the range selector switch. You can call it um, a park neutral safety switch. And it, it's a combination of that and the uh, the range selector switch. This larger connector is doing your your reverse lights, it's doing your neutral safety, um, uh, the crank request, and all that good stuff. Um, it's also feeding your your brake switch. Really, you're just going to leave that untouched, with the exception of the purple wire. Uh, that goes to the starter relay. You want that purple wire that goes to the starter relay to feed the PCM on the new engine so that will um, tell the computer to go ahead and start the engine. To get your park and, and everything, all your dash lights to work as far as the park, reverse, neutral, and all that goes, this is the wire, this is the cable you're looking for. It's this four wire cable. Okay, um, you're going to have range A, range B, range C, and range P. Just Google it. Um, I'll, I'll look it up here, the wires and all that. I'll put it in the description. But this is the guy you want. Now, I have these wires out of their loom because I was taking everything out. And I have this connector that ends up going... In the firewall I have it kind of set over here so the range wires end up going through the firewall over on that direction over there so that's your range so you're gonna lose these wires once you start to loom them they're gonna get lost in this harness so take yourself um, just four extension wires and just tap into them here and then just what I'm gonna do is just run them just right along here and get them up to this uh, this area here because this is where I'm putting the uh, the new control module the PCM so it'll just be a matter of extending them to get them to loop around and, and just look like it's part of the original harness just label them because you want the, the new control module to, uh, to see your A, B, C, and P from your range selector switch on the transmission. They both, the, the dash can share that signal with the PCM. Uh, and that way, the behavior changes as far as the, the engine's concerned. The, the engine will start to you know, adjust the idle depending on what gear you're in. So just, um, I know there's a couple of you guys out there that were asking questions about what to do with this. And again, just to recap, the large connector, you know, I've gone through here and I've labeled them. I'll put the, uh, the description of what each one of these wires represents, the ones that I was able to, do, to uh, identify. But largely, it's going to be untouched, with the exception of the starter relay cable or, or wire that goes to the starter relay. Um, and then just, you want to keep your, your range selector switch. Get a little bit close up here so you can see it. It's kind of a funny looking connector. It's kind of offset. But once you get those two tied in to the uh, to the old range selector switch, you're going to be using your nine. Uh, you know what? If you have a 2000 and above engine, you're going to you're just possibility you're going to have a different range selector switch and neutral safety switch. So you just use. Whatever, um, if you have a 4L60E or whatever coming out of the in, out of the uh, the truck, and you're putting either the same engine back or or something that's similar, you can put your old range selector switch and park neutral switch on the side of that engine, or excuse me, the side of the transmission, and just wire it like normal. So uh, if you guys have any questions, let me know. But I'll I'll put a, a description there as, as to what wires I found here. Uh, the pinouts on that. It's kind of hard. These years are, I've noticed that everybody 
I mean, it could be one model to the other and it's doing something different. So if you guys want to chime in, let me know. I'm stuck right now. So if, you, if anybody out there knows, I want to know what pin A is for. It's the yellow wire. Pin A and um, let's see. Let's see, pin A and pin E. So those disappear into the uh, C100 connector that goes into the firewall. I, I really don't know what, what's what. I'm not going to cut any one of them, so I know it's just going to behave like normal since I'm not disturbing those wires, but I'd like to know what they are just so I know what I'm talking about. And then whatever research I've done, I, I can't find out what it is. So if anybody knows what they are, please let me know. Thanks.